With Christopher Nolan fresh off the success of Oppenheimer over at Universal Pictures, we've been wondering what the auteur blockbuster director might do next, and also what studio he might make his next project under. Recent interviews with the filmmaker suggest that bridges have been partially rebuilt between Nolan and Warner Brothers, but after the great job that Universal did with Oppenheimer, would it even be a possibility of him returning to WB? Well, a new interview with Jeff Snyder over on Christian Harlov's show, someone who's known for breaking scoops and giving us insider analysis, has said that he thinks it's a possibility for Nolan to return, especially after an announcement that was made yesterday. So I'm going to be detailing this rumour and the new announcement, discussing what I think towards it, giving reasons for why Nolan might return to Warner Brothers, and on the flip side, why he might continue making films at Universal. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my upcoming content surrounding Christopher Nolan and his future projects, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into the rumour surrounding Christopher Nolan returning to Warner Brothers. So I wanted to do a brief video on the new updates surrounding Christopher Nolan, and while this rumour came out of nowhere, an official announcement yesterday gave this rumour some possibility of being true. On the Big Thing podcast run by Christian Harlov, his guest around two days ago was scooper and industry insider Jeff Snyder, who came on the show and shared an update two days before it was made official. I have a link to this show in the description if you want to watch it yourself, and I totally recommend following Jeff Snyder because he does break Hollywood news before it happens and on a lot of occasions it does point in the right direction. Anyway, he said on the show that he had heard that Warner Brothers and Christopher Nolan were going to re-release Tenor in IMAX at the end of February. On one side, it was to support the release of Warner Brothers and Denis Villeneuve's Dune Part 2 at the start of March, hitting IMAX theatres globally. And on the other side of things, he said that he thinks this signals the start of Nolan's return to WB after it being reported previously that bridges had started to be rebuilt between the filmmaker and studio. He's referring to what Nolan said months ago in an interview where he came out and said that he really respects the new heads of Warner Brothers in David Zaslav, Pam Abdi and Mike DeLuca and that he would be open to working with the studio again in the future. So now that they are re-releasing Tenet and giving more audiences a chance to see it, as it did come out during the middle of the pandemic, to Snyder, it's a signal for the start of that return. Again, he mentioned the Tenet re-release announcement two days before it actually happened, and as seen yesterday, Warner Brothers put a new trailer and poster out to mark the return of Tenet to theatres, with a release date of February 23rd. This is just one week before Warner Brothers' biggest film of the year in June Part 2, comes out. It's said that this Tenet re-release will also include new footage of Dune Part 2 to help promote the Warner Brothers film, and Christopher Nolan came out and spoke in an interview about the decision. He said, I'm thrilled that Warner Brothers is giving audiences a chance to see Tenet the way it was intended to be seen on the largest IMAX and large format film screens, and I'm honoured to have our movie warm up the film projectors for Denis Villeneuve's jaw-dropping Dune Part 2. Snyder talked about this announcement days before it happened and said it was the first tease of Nolan rejoining his old studio. So does this really mean that he's going back to Warner Brothers or do I think he will stay at Universal for a few more years? Well, starting with why Nolan might come back to Warner Brothers, like I say, I think it is weird that Jeff Snyder broke this news days ago and now here we are two days later, hearing an announcement for Tenet coming back to theatres. Yes, it doesn't mean that Nolan is committed right now in returning to WB, but if Snyder was right about the Tenet reissue news, then there's a possibility the other angle to that could be true as well. It definitely is an interesting move by Nolan because after the mishap 
handling of other films under the studio during the old regime, it led to Nolan's leave in the first place. And now, by re-releasing a film from that time, it suggests that he's more than happy to do at least work with them once again. What's clear from this is that Nolan would be okay with working with the studio again, and Warner Brothers clearly want him back themselves. They made it clear that losing Christopher Nolan was a big hit for the studio, and recent announcements they've made tell us that they want to regain the trust of some of the industry's best filmmakers and actors. In just the last few months, they've signed deals with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Cruise, and Christopher Nolan could essentially be the next in line. So there is this sign that they want to work with people like Nolan again, and that's exactly what Jeff Snyder was getting at in the show he appeared on the other day. So keeping all of this in mind, I think there is a good chance that Nolan will eventually go back to Warner Brothers at some time. Remember, he's not currently on a picture deal at Universal, and Oppenheimer was a separate project between them. So there's no certainty or picture deal that says that Nolan has to stay at Universal for X amount of years. He's essentially a free agent, and if a studio comes to him with a massive deal that he likes, he might be inclined to take that deal. But this brings me to the other side of that coin, which is why Nolan actually might choose to stay at Universal. Now, this is just my perspective on the situation, and to be honest, it could go either way based on recent events. But my question would be, why would Nolan make a film with Warner Brothers so soon after literally making his most critically and globally successful film under Universal Pictures? The studio gave him the best marketing campaign, distribution methods, and support with Oppenheimer, and it resulted in a film that has become his most profitable. Yes, The Dark Knight Rises made the most money overall, but if we're talking about budget to profit ratios, Oppenheimer is his most successful film. Universal let him make a three hour R rated talkie biopic about a nuclear physicist, and it made nearly a billion dollars worldwide. And on top of that, the film might win some of the biggest Academy Awards this March, too. So after Universal Universal let him make anything he wanted, marketed it, and distributed it in the way he wanted, why would he choose to go straight back to Warner Brothers for his next film? In my opinion, I think Christopher Nolan will eventually return to Warner Brothers at some point, and this move to re-release Tenet is the start of that bond reforming. But I also think that Nolan would want to keep doing his thing at Universal for a little while longer before he moves back to his old studio. To me, it just makes sense after the success of Oppenheimer and the total freedom they gave him in every department. I could be wrong and what Jeff Snyder said may actually be what happens, but to me, it just seems more likely that a return to Warner Brothers would happen a few years down the line rather than right now. But that was my video breaking down the recent rumour of Nolan coming back to Warner Brothers. Like I said, there are points for and against him coming back to WB, and while I can see it happening at some points, Universal have really done a great job with Oppenheimer, and I'd think he'd want to at least do a few more projects with them before returning. I guess it's hard to predict what direction he could take when it comes to a studio or his next film, and while I think this Snyder rumour does have weight, I just don't see him coming back straight away. We'll have to see what happens and whether he does decide to come back to Warner Brothers, and I will definitely be keeping you up to date with it here on the channel. But what do you think about Christopher Nolan possibly returning to Warner Brothers as soon as his next film? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and updates on the work of Christopher Nolan, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.